we're just talking, talking Robin. Yeah. As we do when he makes it back here. And so, yeah. You know, I'm sure most people know. Most people who know food stuff know that uh, Ivan went back to New York last year. Did some stuff. What, what have you yeah. done out there now? So I went back the, to New York. The, um, the went back to New York. Um, I I wrote a book. Yeah. So I both wrote the Ivan Ramen book. Um, which was like a year-long process. It took it took a long time, um, but it was a really fun project, and people seem to be liking it, so it's really exciting. Um, and then I opened two ramen shops. Um, one is sort of a simple one, um, more of a fast, casual idea, and the other one's more of a, more towards a, a, a real restaurant idea. Um, I have a full full kitchen of, of cooks and waiters and maitre d's and the whole thing. So the whole fast casual thing, like I always found in America that one thing that wasn't working with the shops is that people would go in and take so much time to eat. And, right. you know, the thing out here, the best shops in Tokyo, people are in and out in 10 minutes. You might wait right. for two hours, but right. you're eating, you're slurping, you're out. Right. Uh, how's the house? No, how do you see I that mean, in the States now? people eat a bowl of ramen in 40 minutes. It's just, um, you know, you can't really judge it because it's a whole new cultural thing. And, you know, if you've been to Japan enough or if you live here or you're really into ramen, you get it. That, you know, a bowl of ramen is, is to me, as a chef, whenever, when I first started all this and I would make a bowl of ramen, I, I panic. As soon as I put the noodles in the soup, I'm starting to panic because I know they're overcooking. And I want to, you know, and I, I mean, my, my, my noodles take, I don't know, in this shop in, 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 in New York, there I think they're 40 seconds here, I think they're 35. It's, you know, I can make a bowl of ramen in two minutes and I get it to the customer as fast as possible and I want them to eat it as fast as possible. Um, but in America, you can't make people do things, you know? I mean, people get, in Japan, you can actually say to somebody, Eat your ramen. Oh, I, that's happens you know, all the time. You know, I take, I've, I've I take got, two photos and yeah, they're yelling at me. Yeah, I've gone doing? outside in Japan and I put the ramen. The guy's outside on the phone and I say, "Your ramen's ready." And he says, "I'm on the phone." And I said, "Well, get off the phone, <laughs> or I'm going to throw your ramen in the garbage and I'll give you money back and you can take a hike because I serve ramen and you can eat it my way or the highway." But what, in, what if you did that in New York? People get really upset. You, you can't. I, I wouldn't. And I, you know, I, there, I don't know if you read. There was a, an article about me in the New York Times, and they quoted me because there was, this is a true story. A, a, a gal came in, and she, she pick, you pick up your own ramen at the at the at the slurp shop, and she put it down, and then she was walking away. Both of my shops, I have all different kinds of cartoons about eating all your, how to eat your ramen fast. I have a big comic strip on a light box that we built. Um, so in, in, in diners and in ramen shops, uh, you know, you have these light boxes that have the menus yeah. on them. So instead of having a menu, I had an artist make a comic strip of people slurping ramen mm -hmm. and eating it quickly and having the empty bowl and just trying to nudge people along and with a with a sort of a wink without being a jerk about it yeah. because you know I, I'm a hospitality dude so if someone says look I want to eat my ramen and I don't care if it takes me an hour I'll say you know what enjoy your ramen I'm just telling you that if you slurp it it's fun you get to make a lot of noise you get to splash fat and soup everywhere and the noodles taste better when you eat them while they're al dente and it tastes better when you eat when the soup's burning hot it just tastes better you got to get people over their anxiety. It's yeah, slurping. That's that's rude. It is making noise. Yeah, you know, you did it when you were when you were three, and you were right. really told, no, 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 no. Right, you're not allowed to slurp. You're yeah. not allowed to make noise. I slurp everything. I'm in trouble with my wife all the time. I go to Italian restaurants. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, slurp I, I the make, spaghetti. I, I get I get yeah. caught with that. Yeah, I slurp spaghetti too. <laughs> um, so that's the scene in New York, and I think you know, like I said, people are. You know, right now in New York, most of the, I mean, I, I serve a very light style double soup in Tokyo. It's having a resurgence. It's really yeah. popular. People really get it. In America, people come to my shop and they see my soup and they're like, that's not ramen. You know, the ramen is over there where it's white and creamy and fatty. Yeah. And it's like, well, you know, I like that too. And 
Ipido makes good ramen, and Toto Ramen's got fun ramen, and they've got, you know, all these places, they're good, they're legit, you know? So, and I think what you were saying before, you know, when I decided, when I first started making ramen, I found that when I ate the heavier ramen, I liked it, but I didn't feel good afterwards, or I'd want to curl up and have a nap. Yeah. And you can't always curl up and have a nap after you eat, you know? And so, I, I started discovering the lighter style places. And I went to Jidai again, and I went to Nakamuraya, and I went to all those places, and all of a sudden I was like, whoa, what is this? This is, this is good, you know? And so when I decided to have my own shop, that's what I started like playing around with in my kitchen. I started to try to figure out how to make that lighter style so that, you know, you could have that every single day 